was actually pro there. Bing. <laughs> Bing. Oh my. <laughs> video I'm making a breakfast meal prep of cinnamon roll french toast for the whole week it's gonna be tasty super easy we're gonna cook once and eat breakfast for the whole week bud yeah yeah all right the friends I have been craving cinnamon rolls but I'm trying to lean out and get as fit as possible and I am the leanest I've ever been I'm getting really good results so I came up with this cinnamon roll French toast breakfast prep to satisfy my cravings and fuel my day so I can keep eating in a calorie deficit to meet all my goals and get lean but not mean. And also, I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. And when I didn't eat breakfast, when I skipped it or I didn't have it prepped, it would set me up for failure because I would get super hungry by the end of the day and I would end up overeating and go way off track. So this is gonna set me up for success, have a tasty breakfast, ready to go, and I'm really excited. I have made this a couple of times, but never this many days in one shebang, in one cooking. So the amount, <laughs> Kyle's laughing at me. So the amounts are gonna be an experiment, like the amounts of ingredients. We're gonna make six days worth, two slices of French toast per day, and it's gonna have a cinnamon roll filling, and then I'm gonna top it with a low calorie icing sugar glaze, plus I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna serve on the side, which I'm gonna cook first. So I have been having a slice of bacon every day for breakfast for a f quite a few weeks now and I'm finding the bacon is really satisfying it also the fat content in it seems to help keep me really full along with the types of breakfast that I'm going to show you so this is the great value naturally smoked bacon and it's the reduced sodium I'm going to cook six slices one for each day because like I said I'm making six days of breakfast I have the pan preheating and I'm literally just gonna cook them all and then reheat them the next day like when I eat them for breakfast. So cooking all these up, medium high heat. I'm gonna spray the pan just a little bit with cooking spray and then about two to three minutes per side until they get crispy. Okay, while the bacon is cooking, I'm gonna make the mixture for the French toast. So I'm gonna be using a dozen large eggs. Basically, I eat two eggs every day. So I'm gonna put this whole thing in a big bowl and let's get crack a whacking. <laughs> that was actually pro there. Bing. <laughs> Bing. Oh my. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> this is literally what I do every day. <laughs> I know. I've lived with you for 25 years. Look at how cute that is. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. <laughs> Demolish those. Hey, that was a fast cracker. <laughs> it was fast cracking. <laughs> all right. Okay. Got to amuse yourself in life. You sure do. So now I have all the eggs in the bowl. I'm going to add, I just want to check my thingy, three tablespoons of unsweetened vanilla silk almond milk. And that, this stuff is so creamy for non-creamy, you know, non-milk. Yeah, and I just want to have enough for a lovely like creamy texture, but not too much because I don't want overload of egg mixture that won't be soaked up. And then I'm gonna do a tablespoon of vanilla extract. There. A tablespoon of ground cinnamon. And a tablespoon of low calorie sweetener. We like the one from Walmart because it's super cheap and you get a lot of it. And the vanilla too was, I think it was out of focus. Oh, sorry, great guys. value, artificial vanilla. Yep, so now I'm gonna whisk this up until well combined, and then I'll show you the bread I'm using. 
cinnamon roll, cinnamon roll, yeah, rolling, rocking, rocking, and a rolling, yeah. I think that's all mixed up. Good enough. Okay, now that that's all done, I'm going to put my bread in here to soak. I have 12 slices of bread, that's two per day, and I'm using the Great Value Whole Wheat Bread. I used to use the regular kind, but I find that the whole wheat digests a little slower and it helps me stay fuller throughout the day. So um, basically, I like to use frozen bread because I find when I put it in the mixture, it doesn't fall apart as quickly as thawed bread. So I'm literally just going to stick all of these breads in here and let them soak. I'm going to make sure that they're all coated and I'm going to absorb as much of the mixture as I can. And if you're making this and your egg mixture doesn't get totally soaked up, that's okay. That's normal. I'm going to put the rest on top of the bread when it's cooking and it'll soak in that way. Okay, the friends, all the bacon is cooked up and I'm gonna put one in each container. These containers I got at Walmart in the container aisle, I look for the compartments because I really like the compartment ones. And this is what the French toast looks like. As you can see, there's some stuff still at the bottom and I'll show you how I spoon it on the top. I have two pans preheating. They've been, I put a little bit of the baking grease in there because it stops them from sticking and then I spray a little bit of cooking spray and now I'm gonna cook these babies up till they're all done and then you'll just have to do it really carefully because they will get all um, thawed and they'll be a little difficult to handle so just go careful and then I'm just gonna pour you can do it with a spoon if you like, but I'm just going to pour a little bit of the egg mixture on the top of each of these slices and it'll soak in as it cooks. And I'm going to do the same with all the rest of these breads and cook them right up. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. They're all finished. All right, the friends, so about three to five minutes per side, depending on, you know, the heat of your own stove and your pan you use and all that stuff. I have them all done, and I'm gonna put one piece in five of the containers, and I have a sixth one, but I'm gonna first put it on the plate for thumbnail action. <laughs> So I will put the sixth one after. Right now I'm going to take a piece of French toast and put the cute side down. And that's because the funny looking side is going to have the filling put on it. Oh. So cute side down. You don't have to do this, but I, I just like to put the cute side down, put the cute <laughs> side. Oh, what? You're cuter. Put the cute side down, put the cute side down. There we go. Oh, wait. I said that I was going to put this one over here for thummy action. So now what I'm going to do is make the filling. I'm going to do four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And this has been put at room temperature. I put it out this morning. Okay, then I'm going to put three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And two tablespoons of this Truvia brown sugar blend. Basically, any sugar-free brown sugar that you have access to. We live in Canada, so this one we find at our local grocery store, Zares. So two tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to blend it together with the back of a spoon. I've been finding that really mixes it quite well. And then I'll show you how I put the filling on the bread on the French toast once this is all mixed really, really well. Okay, so I'm gonna put two teaspoons of the filling on top of the French toast and then spread it around. And like I said, I made this this morning and um, once on the weekend and oh my gosh, it really does taste like cinnamon roll filling and cinnamon roll French toast. It really gets my French toast craving out. So um, this is super tasty. Okay, now I'm gonna use the back of the spoon to basically just spread this around until it melts in. And then I'm gonna top it with the other slice of French toast so that it makes kind of like a cinnamon roll, but like with the French toast. So just basically like 
this so that when I heat it up and eat it tomorrow morning, inside will be the yummy filling mm. and then I'll top it with a glaze that I'll show you in um, a minute once this is all spread around. So just spread it around the best you can and it'll be really warm and lovely when you heat it up the next day. Okay, now I'm gonna top the thumbnail-y one <laughs> um, and I'm gonna make the glaze. So I'm gonna tell you the calories for this breakfast at the end of the video, but the glaze, you can make it ahead of time if you want, but it will separate. So what I do is it doesn't take very long. I make it the day that I reheat up the toast or that I make it. So I am gonna do it on this one though, just to show you what it looks like. So we're gonna take, I've been liking doing this in a mug. I'm gonna take some sugar-free swerve. This is basically sugar-free icing sugar. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon in the mug. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla. We don't wanna put too, too much liquid because then it won't, the glaze won't be super thick and I'd like it to be lovely and thick just because it looks prettier that way. Whoops. There we go. And then I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half of this silk and it's the same one that I used for the French toast. So first, I'm gonna put the teaspoon in and stir it just to make check the consistency out. If you like it like that, you can keep it. I think I'm actually gonna keep it at that consistency. If you want it a little thinner, you can add another half a teaspoon. I'm gonna just slice this down the middle so you guys can see what it looks like. And there is all mm. the beautiful cinnamon -y cinnamon roll action in there. And then basically that's what I'm gonna do and then just drizzle it with this glaze. You can use low calorie pancake syrup too, but this glaze, it's the PS de resistance, let me tell ya. So that is, that is the beauty, that's it. And I'm basically gonna put three in the fridge and three in the freezer, and then as I run out, I'll thaw some in the fridge overnight, and I reheat them for one minute, depending on the microwave that you have, it might be different, and then I just eat it every morning for breakfast for a week. All right, the friends, that is it. Breakfast is done for the entire week, and here is the calories. So for just the French toast with the filling, and the no glaze, it's 414 calories. And if you want the glaze, the bacon, and the French toast with the filling, we're looking at 591 calories, 35 grams of fat, 52 grams of carbs, and 23 grams of protein. And I love having a really good calorie breakfast like this because with tons of protein and a good amount of fat because I find it really fuels my day. And I do an hour of cardio after I eat breakfast, so this not only fuels my cardio, but it fuels the rest of my day where I'm not starving throughout the day. So this is perfect and I am super excited to eat this for the week. If you wanna know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, I have two weight loss eBooks, the links are down below along with the link for my guilt-free cookbook and the link for the huddle protein harder than lap time protein luckier marshmallow is one of my favorite flavors because i am a cereal lover or you can watch one video two video for free and learn how i love my food and skip lean but not mean guys and you want to know something really really cool before you go you really do it Sure. Look at my <laughs> new Thor shark sandal guys. Whoa. Guys, you can't even believe it. Look at how cute these are. Can you even know it? They're sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they even came with little fins. Oh my goodness. And I got these, if you want to know, I got them off Amazon and I'm not sponsored. I just love how cute they 
are. And they're like cute little sharp feet. I really like them. Love you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you like this cinnamon roll French toast. I love it. I'll catch you in the next vid. Rolling out to this cinnamon roll French toast. <laughs> bye bye. See, See you guys. Ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.